Hi, this is Thomas Easton with Woodland Fluid Power, FinalDryParts.com. I want to go through some really important information here. Um, when you get a request from us to fill out one of these spec, spec sheets, this is a specification sheet for determining the dimensions of the final drive, um, please make sure that you take good, accurate measurements and you spend some time filling this out for us. Um, you can see over here on the left that we have some machine information, brand, model, year, serial number. Fill out what you can on there, please. The more information you give us, the, the, the easier our job is to make sure we get the right drive for you. Um, that's machine information. Below that is the drive motor information. If possible, give us the information off the data tag that's on your final drive motor. Usually that tag will be on the, on the cover of the drive here or on the other end, the back cover plate. And this information will, again, help us make sure we get the right fitment for you. Uh, I'm going to go through taking the measurements off of this drive. Uh, the important ones are labeled C, D, E, F, G, and H. Give us as much of that as you can. Uh, you'll need the drive already off the machine to take these measurements. Uh, and there's several different ways to do it, so I'll go through a couple of different ways to take these measurements. Basically, you're checking the bolt pattern, what we call the bolt circle on the drive, the, the, uh, the hub diameter on the drive, and that's on both ends, and also this flange spacing between the top and the bottom flanges. So that's what we call the offset. So uh, I'll go through these, these uh, measurements one after another now. You can, by the way, you can download this blank sheet right off of the link there on the YouTube video or off our website. Um, our sales representatives will also be sending you a link to this uh, sheet. Okay, so to start with, let's get this bolt circle dimension. And one way to do it is just with a couple of large uh, screwdrivers. And I'm going to show you a few other options here in a minute. Uh, what you want to do is you want to be right on the middle of that bolt. So put the edge of your screwdriver so where it goes right through the middle of the bolt hole there. This is an important dimension because this tells us how big your sprocket bolts are. Okay, so then just uh, use some vice grips to bolt those, to, to clamp those things down. And then we're going to check them to make sure that they're straight. We want this measurement across the front here, will give us this, the, uh, the bolt circle diameter. And we want those two screwdrivers to be parallel with each other. So I'm showing nine and a quarter, uh, actually more like nine and and um, an, an eighth there. And I want to check the same thing on the back side here. And yeah, I've got uh, I got nine and an eighth. So that tells me that the middle of that bolt hole to the middle of this bolt hole is nine and an eighth inches. You may have one that doesn't have uh, an even number of bolts. If that's the case, you're going to have to kind of estimate it on one side. Okay, the, uh, the next measurement that's important to us is this inside hub measurement. And I might be able to get it the same way. Let's try this. not going to want to stay there, but I can, it'll just sit there if I just hold it. Okay, so same deal. Take the, the distance between the inside of the two screwdrivers or pry bars or whatever you've got. That's showing eight inches between them. I checked the back side. Okay, I didn't have them completely straight, so straighten them out a little bit. Eight and, a, eight and an eighth of an inch on this particular drive shows the same on the front and the back so that's a good measurement so you'll write that down that's measurement D so you'd write that down in spot D here the first measurement we took which was the bolt circle on the sprocket side of the drive was measurement C and I got nine and a quarter there so nine and a quarter for C I got eight and eight and an eighth for D and then I'm gonna check the the offset now So 
So to measure this offset, I just want to go from this, the outside of this bottom flange to the outside of the top flange here. And, and I'm showing two and three quarter inches there. So that would be, uh, that would be item E, the outside of the flanges, two and three quarter. This spec sheet is for a different uh, final drive, much larger final drive actually. Okay, the, another dimension that's important for us is the distance from the bottom of the valve body here to the uh, bottom of this flange. And that we call that measurement H. So I can do that while the drive's upside down. And I can just I can use something like this to, to get a good flat surface there. And I'm showing two, just over two and a quarter there on that measurement. A little less than two and three eighths. So that would be like two and five sixteenths, it looks like. So I can get a pretty accurate measurement by using the side of a screwdriver. That measurement was H. H right there. And that's an important measurement because if H is too long on the replacement drive, then we're not going to be able to put that cover plate on the back side of your, of your undercarriage that protects all the hoses and stuff. Anyway, so we need to make sure we get that right. Okay, then flip your drive over. And we want to do the same thing on the other side here. And, and another way to do this would be to use just a piece of string or a shoelace or whatever you got laying around. And we want to measure this. Well, should be easy to do. We want to measure the circumference of this hub. So in this case, I've got that long and I can lay that down and I can measure it if I had a third hand I can measure that like that and I get 20 inches 20 and uh, 3 eighths inches so that you would you could write down for measurement F and that's just another way to do this but make sure if you use something like that for measurement F that you put a, a note there that it's the circumference using a piece of string or a piece of rope. Um, it's really pretty easy on this drive because it's, it's uh, fairly small on this end and I can kind of eyeball it. I'm, I'm looking at this measurement here. I've got mm, six and three-eighths on that measurement. And the same thing I can do with the bolt pattern. I want to go from the middle of this bolt straight across to the middle of the uh, bolt on the other side and there I've got seven and looks like seven and five eighths another option if you're lucky enough to have a big set of calipers around your shop you can use these and this works really well if I can get them to collapse so I can use these to check that diameter, then set them down and measure between them. Yeah, six and a half. So I was off a little bit when I eyeballed it, but that gets it right on. Six and a half. Same thing with the Well, and these aren't working too well because they're so tight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, seven and three eighths. So there's there's multiple different ways to do this. I think the screwdriver method works the best, holding the screwdrivers up or pry bars up, and then measuring between them on each side. To me, that works pretty good. Um, of course, you're welcome to call us at our shop. If you have any questions, we're happy to help you over the phone. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Keep in mind, these dimensions are really important, so we hope you'll um, help us fill those out accurately. We don't want to send you the wrong drive for your machine. Um, one other thing real quick on this sheet. You do want to tell us 
the size of the bolts and the number of bolts for each of the two flanges. So there's a spot for that number of bolts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and what bolt hole size it is. Use one of your bolts that you've got that you took off of the machine or the um, sprocket to uh, check that bolt. It's usually a metric bolt. Okay, thank you for your time. Have a good day.